Hey, and welcome back to my man cave and my channel. Not an expert here. Today I'm going to be talking about what kind of bullet shells can be loaded and what type of bullet shells cannot be loaded. Okay, first I wanted to review the basics of bullets to the bullet, average everyday bullets. There's four basic parts. They have bullets, the lead part, they have the powder, they have a case, and they have a priming powder. The bullet is the projectile. The powder is the main project propellant that propels the bullet, and the primer is what ignites, I'm sorry, the priming powder ignites the powder here. The best way I've ever heard it explained is when you're doing a barbecue cookout and you put the charcoal on the grill, it's pretty hard to get the charcoal lit with a match. So what you do is you take lighter fluid and you put the lighter fluid on it and you light the lighter fluid and the lighter fluid is easy to light and it ignites the rest of the charcoal. But it's the charcoal that gives you the main of source of heat in your barbecue. The starter fluid is somewhat like the priming powder. It's easy to get going and once it gets going it ignites the powder in the bullet shell. But it's the charcoal or the powder that does most of the propelling down the tube. Okay, so now that you're familiar with the four parts of a bullet, you can further break bullets down into two categories. A rim-fired bullet, which has a priming powder around the rim there, and a center-fired bullet where it has a primer directly in the center here. And rim-fire bullets, to my best of my knowledge, no one ever reloads these. They are shoot and then you dispose of the case. Rim fire bullets, like I said, you just throw away it. But center fire bullets here, you can see that this primer can be pulled out and you can replace the bullet, the powder, and the primer on this one. Okay, in a rim fired bullet, you're gonna have your striker come in and pinch that edge of the rim there and cause the primer to ignite. Here's a spent shell casing. You can see where the, the um, striker came in and hit it. Okay, for a center fired bullet, when the bullet's in the barrel, the striker would, you can see the striker here is spring loaded, and when the sear pin releases, the striker comes flying forward and hits that primer, causing it the primer to explode and ignite the powder. Here's a used casing here. You can see where the primer left a dent in it. So on rim fire bullets here, you can see why they're not very reloadable. The primer goes along the side here, gets pinched between two small flanges here and ignites. So it'd be pretty hard to open that back up and put primer back in there. Not to mention that the 22 long rifle probably goes for an average of four to five cents a piece, so it's not very profitable to reload. Then, once you get down to the center fires, there's two different types of center fire. There's a bird end primer and a boxer primer. On a boxer primer, those, are, those can be easily reloaded. You can see here, it's one tiny hole here. And in a second, I'll show you how you pop the old primer out. But basically, you just get a piece of metal and you push the old primer out here. A, a center fire bird end primer is much more complicated. And you can see here, there's two tiny little holes. So when the primer goes off, it shoots the fire down into these two tiny little holes and into the powder. So most people find it very difficult to be able to get a tool in there in those tiny little holes and pop out the Burdan primer. So in general, most people do not reload Burdan primers. Okay, then once you're down to the center fire boxer primer shells, these can be made out of a lot of different materials. This is nickel plated steel. In general, people don't load that one. This one it looks like a steel coated with a varnish people don't reload that one. This is a brass plated steel. People don't reload that one. This is non-magnetic but it's aluminum. People in general don't reload that one. 
And this one is non-magnetic, so that would be a nickel-plated brass. People do reload that one. And this one would be a solid brass. People do reload those. So those are about the only two that people reload. Either the nickel-plated brass, the brass, and of course they're both box or primer. Also, this one here is a boxer primer. It's brass. It's non-metallic, but if you look real closely, the case has cracked on the side. And if you looked at it right through there, you can see the light shining through. That you put in the recycle bin, obviously not to be reloaded. Okay, thanks for stopping on by. Remember, I'm not an expert, and have a good day. Thank you.